Travel Robot Presence Top 10 Things to Do in Guatemala There are so many fun things to do in Guatemala that it can be hard to plan a trip. The amount of things you can do depends on how long you have been in the country. All the major attractions that I'll list are quite spread out, and it can take a full day to get from one place to the next. Just research the travel time between attractions and try not to spread yourself too thin. Even visiting just one of the places I mentioned will give you an incredible experience. So pick the attractions that intrigue you the most and enjoy them. If you want an even deeper cultural experience, try traveling with world packers to exchange experiences in Guatemala. You can stay in one place for a couple of weeks, live with locals for free and learn new skills while working in a fun and interesting job. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell symbol for more wonderful videos. Number 1. Sightseeing in Antigua Very few travelers leave Guatemala without having stopped in Antigua. This used to be the capital city of Guatemala during colonial times, but the capital was moved to Guatemala City in 1773 after a massive earthquake struck Antigua. Despite the destruction, Antigua still has many architectural remnants of its past significance. There are so many things to do in Antigua, Guatemala that is historically insightful and affordable. Sightseeing is the best way to explore Antigua and see its colonial past with your own eyes. Noteworthy sites include the Santa Catarina Arch, Iglesia de la Merced, and the hilltop viewpoint, Cerro de la Cruz. See the remnants of the 1773 earthquake by visiting the ruins of the Church of Candelaria, the ruins of Santa Rosa, and Capuchin's Monastery. You can also visit the local market for cheap produce, tour the Chocolate Museum, relax in Central Park, and simply wander through the streets admiring the majestic, European-like architecture. Number 2. Hike a Volcano Because Guatemala is located on the verge of two tectonic plates, the shifting of these plates over the years has caused the Earth's surface to bend and shake into amazing formations. Nowadays, Guatemala has about 37 volcanoes, three of them active. This makes for some incredible hiking opportunities and breathtaking natural scenery. There is no shortage of volcano hikes to do in Guatemala. I'll list a few of the most popular ones for those adventurous travelers who love a challenge. It stands at a hopping 4,220 meters tall, so you may want to spend a few days in mountainous areas before your hike so your body has time to adjust to the altitude. The hike up Vulcan Tejamulco starts at around 3,000 meters above sea level, so you don't have to climb the entirety of the volcano to reach the summit. You can hike in one day, though it is recommended to do an overnight hike so you don't need to rush and you have more time to enjoy the views. The closest city to Vulcan Tejamulco is Sila, also known as Quetzaltenango, so you can start your hike from here. I'll discuss Sila in more detail later on. There is no official entrance fee for this volcano, so it is great for budget travelers. Number 3. Explore Lake Atitlan Lake Atitlan has a thriving sense of Mayan culture and an abundance of natural beauty, so exploring here is one of the best things to do in Guatemala. Take the local boats from town to town to soak in the lifestyle. Must-see towns in Lake Atitlan include Panajacal, which has the best local market, San Pedro, which has an amazing lookout and lots of backpackers, San Marcos, which has many yoga retreats, health food stores and spiritual centers, and San Juan, which has vibrant street art and lots of local handicrafts. Number 4. Visit Sila, Quetzaltenango. As I mentioned earlier, Sila is the perfect town to begin a hike up Vulcan Tejumulco. But visiting Sila is also a great gateway into authentic Mayan culture. Quetzaltenango is the town's colonial Spanish name, but Sila is its Mayan name. So most locals will call it Sila, pronounced Shela. As Guatemala's second largest city, there are so many things to do in Sila. After hiking a volcano, relax in the hot sulfur springs known as Fuentes Georginas or venture to the massive crater lake known as Lake Chicabal. Aside from these natural wonders, Sila is mostly known for its culture. There are lots of churches in town that showcase the strong Catholic faith in Guatemala, including the Quetzaltenango Cathedral. Take a short bus ride outside the city to visit the colorful church known as San Andres Secol. Number 5. 
shop at Chichicastenango Market. Located about two hours away from Sila, Chichicastenango Market is one of the best things to do in Guatemala to enjoy the traditional Mayan culture. This is one of the largest markets in all of Central America and is open on Thursdays and Sundays. There are plenty of shuttles here too and from surrounding towns in Sila and Lake Atitlan, or you can take a chicken bus with the locals. Once you arrive in Chichicastenango, spend hours wandering through the gigantic outdoor market. You can find ready-to-eat local meals, fresh produce, and other food items in addition to all the local handicrafts. If you want some authentic Mayan souvenirs to take home after traveling to Guatemala, this is the place to buy them. Every piece of clothing, every handbag or wallet, and every hat or accessory is delicately woven with beautiful, colorful threads. The crafts here are truly stunning, and it is amazing to see how the locals make a living off of selling their art to tourists. Number 6. Surf in El Paradum. After hiking and experiencing the culture inland, head to Guatemala's coast for some sunbathing and surfing. You can take chicken buses or direct shuttles to this small town on Guatemala's Pacific coast and stay in a cheap beach hostel when you get there. El Paradum is the perfect place for people who want a break from the hustle and bustle of traveling. There isn't a lot to do in El Paradum besides spend quality time with the ocean, but a few days of soaking in the sun on a pristine beach is amazing for the soul. Surfers flock to El Paradin for the fun waves, and beginners can take surf lessons and learn how to ride the waves. As the beach faces west, you can also catch some beautiful sunsets from here. One of the best things to do in El Paradin, besides surfing, is watching the turtles hatch, as this is one of the few places where lots of turtles lay their eggs. From June to November, you can watch the baby turtles hatch and head for the sea, which is an admirable and magical sight. Number 7. Experience Bliss at Simuk Champi Deep in the jungle of Guatemala lies Simuk Champi, a series of natural pools filled with crystal clear waters. It is a marvel to look at and a true joy to swim in. Getting to Semuk Champi is no easy feat. It is located in a very remote area with virtually nothing else around it. You can take a shuttle bus from most other destinations, like Rio Dulce, Flores, Antigua, and Lake Etitlan. But the drive is at least eight hours from all of these places, and most of the roads are unpaved and bumpy, through crowds of tourists. Number 9. Experience a melting pot of cultures in Livingston. As a very unique destination in Guatemala, Livingston serves as a cultural blend of Guatemalan, African, and Caribbean. Set at the mouth of the Rio Dulce River on the Caribbean Sea, this city has a vibrant culture and a laid-back but welcoming vibe. Located on the east coast of Guatemala, Livingston makes a convenient stop for travelers traveling to and from Honduras or Belize but you can only reach Livingston by boat from Rio Dulce or Puerto Barrios, as it is located on a peninsula. This just makes the isolated culture even more special. Number 10. Explore the wilderness near Rio Dulce. Rio Dulce, which translates to Sweet River, is a river in eastern Guatemala that starts near Livingston and runs inland. The dense jungle that surrounds the river provides endless opportunities for adventure. Travelers can enjoy Rio Dulce by exploring the wilderness and taking day trips to the majestic natural wonders around the river. For example, you can take a boat ride through the impressive El Bocaran Canyon for only 20 Q or bathe in the natural hot springs of Finca Paraiso for only 10 Q. Because these attractions are made in nature, the admission fees are very cheap so travelers on a backpacker budget can easily afford these activities. That brings us to the end of this video. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.